Let's bring in CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. Ricky, good morning. Good morning. You know, he mentioned the widow, uh, Taya, who has said that Bradley Cooper was so real on the screen that she felt that he had brought her husband back to life for her, that it was, she used the word eerie, I think, to describe it. Well, and that's the problem, according to the defense. Anyone who has seen this movie, myself included, mm -hmm. feels enormous sympathy about Chris Kyle. Chris Kyle is an American hero by any stretch of any imagination. So it would be one thing to move for a change of venue period or a delay but now with the advent of the movie and it's a blockbuster you can't even keep the book on the shelf in the town well what about the oscars coming up yes. with the with the movie up for best movie with bradley cooper up for best actor i mean actor in the midst of a trial. Well, one of the problems here, Nora, is exactly that. If you're not going to change the venue, why not have a delay? And that's certainly what the defense would say, is that why can't we wait till award season is over? But why can't we wait already been, six months? What about her, the other argument? This trial has been delayed for so long anyway. What about, you know, well, justice? The, the, just, well, you're going to say, and Gail and I have <laughs> talked, just as delayed as justice, justice denied. denied. And yeah. it's a true statement. The prosecutor and the court have said enough is enough. It's two years. It's it's time to get started. The question really is this. When does a motion for a change of venue really work? What well, we're going to find out in the next two days. Can they get 12 people in the box who can say that they can be fair and impartial jurors? If they can, no change of venue, no delay. Mm, wow. Ricky, thank you. So they'll find out quickly whether they can do that. Well, they're going to really find out quickly if they're going to start this trial next right. week. All right. Thank, thank you, you, Ricky.